Aerovironment Switchblade is a miniature, high-precision strike tactical mission system known as the Kamikaze or Suicide Drone. The one-of-a-kind unmanned aerial vehicle comes in two variants, the Switchblade 300 and the Switchblade 600. One targets the troops, while the other focuses on armored vehicles. Still, both feature intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities, GPS tracking, target acquisition, and speeds of over 70 miles per hour. Moreover, they can be used aboard ground vehicles, surface ships, submarines, and the old trusty infantry. In a telling glimpse of what the future holds for modern warfare, an army soldier or a marine can now carry a tube-launched drone and set it up in less than two minutes to destroy an enemy emplacement. Not bad for a device small enough to fit in a backpack. Close Air Support The dawn of the 20th century found the United States military immersed in a conflict that would last for over two decades. It was clear from the beginning of the military operations in Iraq and Afghanistan that the U.S. ground troops would fight a similar war to that of Vietnam. This time, however, the Army and Marines would miss out on the large-scale offensives of the North Vietnamese, instead draining themselves with intense close-quarters combat while doing house-to-house -house clearing and other harsh realities of urban warfare. In fact, the gruesome battles of Fallujah of 2004 would become synonymous with the fierce urban combat encounters of the Battle of Hue City in Vietnam in 1968. Such types of combat became the standard for engaging the enemy. Civilians often cooperated with the enemy, sometimes because they were forced to, and sometimes because of local feuds between tribes. During ambushes on towns, small villages, or the countryside where they were outnumbered, the U.S. infantry often needed to call in close air support, but fixed-wing aircraft or helicopters usually took a while to arrive. Furthermore, there was always the risk of collateral damage that could lead to civilian or friendly casualties. And to top it off, it proved costly, something that the Department of Defense became aware of. Still, there was a crucial asset that the soldiers and Marines used to survive urban combat. UAVs like the Puma or Raven. These drones came in handy to locate and approach the enemy, but they still needed weapons to face them. For a while, the infantry was able to get out of harm's way by employing the heavy and cumbersome FGM-148 Javelin and other explosive devices to get rid of enemy infantry and vehicles, but something else was needed. Switchblade 300 Taking into account the combat experience of veterans from the wars in the Middle East, the U.S. Army and the U.S. Air Force Special Operations Command issued a request for a rapid fielding platform that could be used by the infantry to attack hostile forces located nearby. The platform was meant to be used during the frequent ambushes in Afghanistan. In July of 2011, the Army awarded a $4.9 million contract to Aerovironment to create a human-portable UAV that could be launched against an objective and detonated with a small explosive. By March of 2012, the contract had been increased to $10 million to accelerate its development, and the result was a small loitering unmanned aerial vehicle that was small enough to fit into a Marine's or Soldier's Alice or Mole Pack. The device was baptized as the Aerovironment Switchblade, a name that came from how its spring-loaded wings were folded up inside its tube and flipped out when released. The Switchblade was designed to be an expendable UAV that would increase the firepower of platoons. Aerovironment describes it as, quote, the ideal loitering missile for use against beyond line of sight targets. Backpackable and rapidly deployable from air, sea, or ground platforms, Switchblade 300 delivers increased warfighter lethality with real time GPS coordinates and video for precise targeting with low collateral effects. The so-called suicide drone excels at engaging targets from mobile field or fixed defensive positions for base security. It can also be operated manually or autonomously, and it has a range of 10 kilometers, 
a flight endurance of 15 minutes, and a cruise speed of 63 miles per hour. Plus, it has a dash speed of about 100 miles per hour when engaging the enemy. Backpackable Tactical Missile System Other than its one-man operation, the Switchblade can be set up and launched in less than two minutes. It features real-time video and cursor-on-target GPS coordinates for target acquisition and object recognition. Meanwhile, a rugged laptop known as the Fire Control Unit lets the operator gather data instantly and launch the drone toward its target. In addition, the Switchblade 300 can be upgraded with the Sensor to Shooter or S2S kit, which allows the use of the Falcon view on the laptop. With this upgrade, the S2S can transfer information to other drones such as the Puma, Wasp, or Raven for improved accuracy. The Switchblade weighs 5.5 pounds, including its launcher, payload, and transport bag. This feature allows the operator to strike fast and with minimal collateral damage. Besides its man-tube launch function, the Switchblade can also be rolled out from Aerovironment's Multipack Launcher, or MPL, an all-weather remotely operated autonomous battery with a six-round capacity. The MPL can be used aboard ground vehicles, ships, and standard infantry ground operations. It is equipped with a 100-inch long remote control cable that allows for a flexible application on ship command centers, tactical vehicles, bunkers, and buildings, with an easy-to-use launch controller. The launcher is 36 inches deep, 30 inches wide, and 36 inches tall. It weighs 130 pounds when empty and 160 pounds fully loaded, and has two power choices, solar power with an internal battery and shore tactical vehicle power. Notably, the Switchblade can be launched every 30 seconds with the multi-pack launcher to maximize damage in a short amount of time. Switchblade 600 In early 2015, Aerovironment launched the Switchblade Blackwing, an unarmed variant of the Switchblade. It was made following a U.S. Navy request for a drone that could provide sailors intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance information. This unique variant can be launched from a surface vessel or submerged submarine. After the combat success of the two variants, Aerovironment began working on another version of the Switchblade following the suggestions of Marines and soldiers. In Afghanistan, the infantrymen used it not just against hostile enemy forces, but to strike IEDs, or improvised explosive devices, and small enemy vehicles. As such, Aerovironment began working on a larger switchblade, aimed specifically at neutralizing armored vehicles. The result was the larger switchblade 600. The device has a weight of 120 pounds, and measures over 71 inches. It has a range of more than 40 kilometers, an endurance of more than 40 minutes, and a cruise speed of 70 miles per hour. Plus, its dash speed is estimated to be 115 miles per hour. Such features make the Switchblade 600 the ultimate next-generation long-range loitering missile, and it also carries an anti-armor warhead that can damage hardened targets from safe distances. Like its predecessor, the Switchblade 600 is an all-in-one, man-portable solution that includes everything to fight hostile forces from land, air, and sea. In addition, an intuitive touchscreen table with fire control system allows the operator to plan flight operations and execute missions. The two Switchblades are small, quiet, and difficult to detect or intercept by enemy forces, which has made them the ideal weapon for the U.S. military. Both versions are currently employed by the U.S. military and the British Armed Forces. And after the outbreak of the war between Russia and Ukraine in early 2022, the Army started considering selling switchblades to Ukraine and Lithuania. Still, no order has been placed, and it remains to be seen that the drones will be used by the Ukrainians as the tension continues to rise between the United States and Russia. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to find more exciting technological content about the latest military innovations. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos. Stay tuned.